Good morning, everybody. How are you all? Just ducky. Good. <laughs> ducky is good. Okay, yep. well, today I think we should uh, focus on uh, some new moves in our ongoing examination of the 83, but let's do the 83 a couple of times uh, just to warm up a little bit. I'm very warmed up, so I'm going to let you guys uh, do it. Um, Susan, why don't you read the, read the first one? All righty, I will do that.
and ran. Okay. Ran, ran, 
Say something, will you? Say something so the camera goes on you again. Okay, let's continue.
Okay, so let's go on from the uh, end there. So the next move is um, turn body and double kick, and then beast head posture, and then tornado kick. We won't get all of that today, but we can do that part. So uh, after you do um, elbow to heart, it's Heidi von Lott. And one, two, three, four. All right, let me, let me do that uh, facing you this direction. One, two, three, four. Susan, let me see you there. Okay, and ran. Okay, let's work on Heidi Fanwa just, just a little bit, right? So after um, elbow to heart, watch what I'm doing here. Chin up. Hit. Hit. Set. Throw. So you, you have to get uh, those parts uh, correct, too, before you go into the kick. Elbow to heart. Chin up. Elbow to heart. Chin up. All, you, all you're doing is just shifting your weight back. Boom. Elbow to heart, chin up, right? And then you open this toe and step up into the hit. Elbow to heart, chin up. Open the right toe, step up into the hit. Right? And then hit again, and you notice that I'm adjusting my foot at the same time. Elbow to heart, chin up, open your toe, step up and hit. Hit again, and then relax, set, throw. So the, the different parts of this are a backhand and then a blow to the temple. Chin up, backhand, right? So the backhand's going right into the guy's nose. Boom, right in front of you, right? Your own, if, you're, if there was a mirror in front of you there, it's your own nose you're hitting. <coughs> and then the temple. And when you, when you uh, shift from the backhand to the temple, you shift your weight. Elbow to heart, chin up. 
backhand, temple. All right. So let, let's call out the weights on the feet here. Starts on the left. Right, left, right, left. One more. Left, right, left, right, left. Left, right, left, right, left. Okay, so the, the first part of Heidi Fan Wah is, is two punches. The first one is the backhand, second one is to the temple. Now comes a throw. It's not a punch, it's a throw. Chana. Backhand, temple. Now comes the throw. To do the throw, first you got to position yourself. All right? This hand is just going to drop because that's its position. This hand is going to come up with the elbow alongside the guy's neck. Right? And then you're going to shift your weight back the other direction. The elbow is pressing down into his body. Right? This hand is coming up. Uh, what, you, what you've done is you've got hold of his wrist here. Right? Backhand, punch, grab his wrist, come up behind his elbow, and then you're going to do this. You're going to raise his wrist and you're going to press his neck down at the same time. Boom. So if you've got the guy by the arm, right, and you raise his arm, his other side is going to start going down. And that's when you press down, right? You lift and press down. And then you raise the knee up into his chest or up into his nose. Right. So the Heidi Fan Hua, it, it's not even in the uh, list of moves here, but we do it several times in the form, um, is actually an important move. And it has its own very specific energies. All right, so let me, do, let me just do the whole thing. Weight to the left, elbow to heart, chin up, backhand, temple, drop and grab his arm, come up behind his neck, lift and push down and uh, knee up into the chest. Okay? Let's do it together. Weight to the left, elbow to heart, chin up, open the right toes, backhand, shift your weight, temple, drop and grab his hand, come up behind his neck, lift and press, and knee. And you notice my foot here, not hanging out here. It's brought into the knee. So, one more. Okay, questions. Okay, Susan, let me see you do this, just this section, nice and slow. Good, all right. And Ram. Good. 
Okay. Uh, Rand, you can you can uh, bring your foot back a little bit. Don't just let it hang out there. Bring it bring it back into your knee. It'll help your balance quite a bit. Okay. From there we go into the double kick. So if you can do the double kick, that's fine. You go ahead and do the double kick. If you want to walk through it like I'm going to do, then here, here's the pattern, right? We'll, we'll start with the upper body first, right? One, two, three, four. So it's backhand, backhand, forehand, forehand. Backhand, backhand, forehand, forehand. Backhand, backhand, forehand, forehand. Right? And then you just have to get the timing, upper body, lower body timing correct. Right. Step and hit. Move and hit. Step and hit. Kick. Right. Step and hit. Move and hit. Step and hit. And kick. Step and hit. Move and hit. Step and hit. And kick. Kevin, is this clear? Let's do the whole thing together. Questions? It looks like, I'm still a little confused. It seems to me I remember us stepping on the second um, backhand, not the first, but that's okay, uh, either way. Um. I, I don't remember it that way, Susan. Um, the, the first, uh, one, two, three, four. So <clears throat> number three is a kick, yes? One, two, three, four. Yeah, but isn't it a double kick? Isn't it three kick, four kick, sort of? It is if you're doing the double kick. But we're not doing the double kick. <laughs> so we have to convert it to civilian style. Uh, Susan, I think that's probably where the where our memories are wrong. This is um, this is kind of the civilian style of it. The, the double kick is um, is very beautiful to watch, uh, but it's difficult to do if you're if you're not a young person. It will it will it will jar your back uh, unless you're in very good shape and. I'm not so uh, uh, <laughs> yeah so let's just do it the easy way let's do the whole thing right. Susan let me see you do it
Good. And round. Good. Okay. Um, all right. Let's let's. We've got about five minutes. Seven minutes left here. Let, let's go on to the, the next part. All right, reach out and grab, pull in toward yourself, and then push out. So I'm going to do this uh, from a little bit of an angle. All right? You pull in under your Don Chen, and then you go around and out. So you're, you're making a big loop when you do this. Right? Pull in under and come out over. And one, two, three. Well, we'll do it in the correct position here. So when you're pulling and pushing, you, you use um, the 45 degree angles. All right, so you kick, all right, and then you uh, reach out, pull back in, and push out. So when you reach out, you're reaching out on this 45, this 45 here, all right? And then when you're hitting, it's on this other 45. So there's a 90 degree spread there. And now we're, we're going to do a series of hits, but the guy we're hitting is right in front of us. He's not at 45 on either case. We may be at 45, but he's straight ahead of us here. All right? And the first is a backhand. So you can think of the backhand coming up the side of the face. Boom. The second is actually a block. It's straight down. So it's hit, block. And then you come over your shoulder and punch him in the nose. And you end up in this position here. This is, this is called the beast's head posture. Hit, block, hit, all right? So you should be right on your own midline as if you were holding something like this, because you are, all right? When you're done, that's be said posture. Malcolm, yeah. Um, something that's a bit surprising is like the right hand punches forward, but the left hand doesn't go back. Does it go slightly back? Does it just stay where it is? Well, you know, always when one side of the body is doing something, the other side is always balancing that in some way. So, right, boom, boom, boom. So it's coming back in. It's coming in, but it's not coming back. That's that's the thing, right? It's it's not like it's staying in the center. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. It's staying in the center and it's staying in front. 
So it's, yeah, because okay. sometimes we like when you punch in one place, you're hitting back in the other. So yeah, th yeah. this is not one of those cases. It's, okay, it's a rel relatively small move, but if you uh, you know it, it's a it's a matter of balance. So you know where where on the stick does does things balance? You find you find a balance, and you can get much better leverage that way, right? If your if your fulcrum is up here, you're not going to you're not going to get very much leverage. If it's if it's here, you're going to have a lot of leverage. And now, that's what, yeah. Now, that's now from show me the uh, the footwork from. Uh, from the pull down to be said. <clears throat> step back with the left, step back with the right. And one, two, three. Susan, does that yeah, thank answer you. your question? Good. Let me see you do the whole thing then. From elbow to heart. Watch, watch my hands here. Backhand. Block. Come up by your own ear. Punch. Okay, and ran. And the last punch, come up by your ear. Yeah, good. Okay, guys, tomorrow we will go on into tornado kick and uh, hopefully a little a little bit beyond there. Right? But we're starting to we're starting to move through the form here. <laughs> yes, we are. Thank you. Okay, guys, you have yourselves a good day. We'll see you tomorrow.